Hi guys, welcome to my channel SAP Lobby. Today we will discuss on the object and object management record in the change master. So who did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. So first uh, we will discuss what is object. So object is something where you will do the changes with reference to a change master. Okay like uh, the example of object like bomb task list documents materials classification system characteristics so all these list all these are the objects because there there you can do the changes with reference to a change master so these are the ob called as objects in the engineering change management okay now next is object management record so object management record is something to control the changes to to uh, to one particular and to document those changes so when you do the uh, frequent changes with to a object okay so object management record will help to document those history of changes so it will help to do the special documentation of changes and it will have also effectivity like uh, from date valid from date it will help to have object uh, valid from date and also it will help to uh, assign the revision revision level so revision level generally assigned can only to material and document okay so this is the uh, uh, object management record and how it help okay and this object management record is not applicable to applicable to all the objects it uh, the this object man management record is up applicable to bomb task list document and material so for this we can create the object management record other objects like characteristic characteristics of class classification object dependency configuration profile so all these you can do the changes with reference to change number but it will not create any object management record okay so this is the uh, standard functionality in the sap now next is like uh, how to create the object management record so in the change master in the change master we can create the object management record in two way either we can create directly in the change master or it can be generated automatically okay so let me go to the sap i will show you there so this is one change number so if i go to objects object type so these are the objects like bill of material routing these are the objects okay so the these will be like uh, uh, and next okay so now to how to create the object management record so two thing first like first if you want to create the object management record automatically like suppose if you example give the take the example of bill of material you want to change the bill of material with reference to any change number so in this case you have to activate this uh, active object management record object and management record okay and this one this one like if you are trying uh, going to use for new object so during creation then you can use this one and this so this one for new object if you want to create for new use for only for new object you can use this one and this one general uh, generate uh, dialog box so this this one will be used if you activate this one then what it will do when you do the any changes uh to an, any object with this change number you will get one uh, pop up so there you can put some text you can put some short text okay 
like reason of changing or whatever the uh, you can put some text there so that that dialects works will appear if you activate this one and mostly for object management record you need to activate this uh, three uh, active object and management record so if you activate these three then system uh, 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 the system will create the uh, change object management record automatically okay so this is the one way of creating the object management record another way another way is if you click on objects so here you can assign the uh, like suppose if you take the example of metal bomb so you can hear a metal bomb or order bomb so what uh, so so what for which object you want to use this change master you can assign this uh, uh, object details here so that it will also help to create the object management record okay so this is the uh, objects object management record how to create the object management record okay now i'll go to configuration here uh, cross application component and then engineering change management and uh, maintain profile and if i go here Login again. So I will show you in the uh, configuration how objects are active. I mean, it is like how the standard setting is there for object different objects. So SPRO and then uh, cross application component, engineering change management, and then maintain profile. So here, if you look at these are the different objects. Okay, this is standard uh, SAP given objects. So there, if you look at bomb, uh, s uh, all the bombs, and then task list, all these uh, task lists. These are the all the uh, master SAP red routing. All these are ta task list. Okay, and then document material. So till this object, till this object bomb task list material and document for all this this uh, uh, active this object management rec object management record these three columns are activated okay these are the uh, enabled okay but if you look at characteristic So if you look at the characteristic, from characteristic, characteristic class, classification, object dependency, configuration profile. So all, all these uh, below the, after the characteristic, all the objects do not, this object management record is gray out. Okay. So this is not activated all these objects. So that is reason when in change master, we are not able to activate the object management record for this uh, these uh, objects like characteristic characteristic class classification 
object dependency so for those objects we will not able to activate the object management record we can use the change master there but we can't activate the object management record okay so this is the uh, this is about the uh, object object and object management uh, object management record okay and then uh, as we explain this is the about how to create the object management record okay now details in the object management record so in object management record we have the details like uh, valid from date if you have used if you use the change master to the uh, material or document then that will have the revision level admin data like uh, who did what so, so that admin data will be there and user status also if you are using the user status that will also include in the object management record okay so let me check if i can show you So So here all the uh, in the object management record all this bar uh, this information you you can get it okay so like uh, if you look this is the like uh, object where we this uh, change number used to change so that here you can get see valid from date or if any status there so status so all these details you can get in this object management record okay then so so this is the all about the objects and object management record in the change master okay hope uh, you like this video so if you have any comment please let know in uh, let know so that uh, i will try to uh, address that please share like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching